All right, you guys, let's take a look how to make this multi-extruded Y2K logo here in After Effects and Illustrator. All right, so I got to start in Illustrator and I'm going to go with this logo as a reference. As you can see, everything is separated and I also going to need to separate these in layers. So let's go here to the layers and I'm going to add new layers and I'm going to open this up and just drag the elements in separate layers. And we also going to need to arrange these accordingly. All right, so let's go and save this file as an AI file. Let's go to After Effects. Here we're going to go to the project, right click, go to import and select file. And here let's click on the logo and go to import S and we're going to need to change it to composition, retain a layer size. Click on import. So now you can see we've got a composition here and I got to double click on it. And here we got the logo. I got to make the background transparent. And I also going to go to the composition, composition settings and change the preset to 1080p 30 frame per second, click OK. All right, so now we're gonna to need to convert the layers into shape layer. So let's select them all, a right click. Let's go to create and select create shapes from vector layer. And I'm gonna bring it up and let's go and delete the rest. Here, I also wanna scale this up. So I'm gonna right click on here, go to new, select no object. Press and hold control, double click on the pen behind. And we're gonna to go to align Let's align it to the center horizontally and vertically. Now let's go to the layers with the logo and let's go and select all the shape layers and drag the pick whip to the null. So we're going to connect these to the null. So now I'm going to select the null, press the letter S and now you can scale it. All right, so now comes the fun part. We're going to transform this into 3D. So let's go here to the cube. If you don't have these options, you can go and click on the toggle switch, click on it so it's going to appear. And I'm going to activate the cubes on every each layer. Also make sure to change the 3D settings to advanced 3D. And now I'm gonna go to active camera, change to custom view one. And now we're gonna open up the layers. We're gonna go first to the text, open it up. Let's go to geometry options. And I'm gonna increase the depth. And it's gonna increase it backwards. For example, I'm gonna go with like 50. And I'm gonna go to view one, change it to two views. And let's go and select this viewport here and change it to left. So I'm going to select the text layer and bring it something like this. I'm also going to activate the bevel and I'm going to change it to angular. I'm going to add a little bit more bevel, 4.2, and I'm going to decrease the extrusion to 40. And you're going to need to repeat this step with every each form. For example, the star, do the same thing, extrude and push it in the front. I'm going to repeat the same step with every each. I also can change up the colors if you want. You can go up here to the fill and switch it. I'm going to select the lighter gray. I'm also going to need to adjust the null. I'm going to select the null and I'm going to zoom in. And we're going to need to position the anchor point. So I'm going to select the anchor point and bring it somewhere into the center. And we're going to animate this. So now if I go to Y rotation and I rotate it, you can see it is rotating perfectly. And I'm going to activate the Y rotation, bring it to the front. And let's go and type in here one. So it's going to rotate 360 degree angles. And I'm going to bring this keyframe all the way out. I'm also going to go here to the layer. Let's go to new, select a light. And I'm going to go with environment light. Make sure to check cast shadows, click OK. And now we've got some realistic looking shadows going on. I'm also going to switch this two views to one views. Change the custom view to active camera. And from here, we're also going to need to adjust the materials. So for example, I'm going to go to the text, open up the material options. And here we can increase the specular shininess. So this is going to make it more metallic. You also got the metallic. For example, I'm going to go with 100% and it's going to look pretty cool. I'm also going to repeat the same step with the rest. And about least, I'm also going to add some HDRI light and I'm going to deactivate the transparency. And just drag and drop an HDRI light. In my situation, I'm going to go with this one. So let's go here to the environment light. And we're going to open up the transform. And here we've got the X and the Y rotation. And we're going to need to change up the source. Click on the default and select the new HDRI. And I'm also going to activate back the HDRI. And I'm going to drag it under every each layer. Here we've got the X and the Y rotation. You can customize it however you like. Hit play, and that's how you make this multi extruded logo here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.